Hi Libra, this is Ray Del Sol and I'm here to do your April 6th through the 20th, what you're working through right now. Okay. Libra. Too soon, Libra. But if we're going to take these, that's moving on to start something new. For happiness. These back in here. If they want to come back out, they will. Libra, what you're working through right now, April 6th through the 20th. Libra, what's the main energies that you're working through right now? April 6th through the 20th. This is Sun, Moon, and Rising. If you don't know your um, Moon and Rising, I suggest that you find out and you check those two. Um, it can hit on different areas of your life or give you a different view of the same situation, okay? If you don't know where to go, you can Google it. You can also go to astro.cafeastrology.com. It's the easiest to use, if you ask me, but that's just my opinion. Okay, Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising, April 6th through the 20th. Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising, April 6th through the 20th. What major energies are you working through right now? We got some trying to fly out. Let's see. Libra. Ooh, I got a headache, Libra. Why? 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 I got a huge pressure. What's going on? Four of Pentacles. Four of Swords, Wheel of Fortune, Five of Cups, The Empress, there you are, Libra, Sun, Queen of Pentacles, Sun, Moon, and Rising, Nine of Pentacles, Strength, Leo, Judgment, okay, and on the bottom of the deck, we have you, King of Swords. All right, so you are coming up in the center position, very strong, and you're the underlying energy, interesting. All right, so you were holding on to something. You were holding on to, you were trying to hold on to everything, weren't you? And take everything with you into the next cycle. And then you said, forget it. I can't take it all with me. And look it, look it. Okay, that's him ha having enough. He doesn't want any more. That's what that's really about. And because he doesn't want any more, you get abundance and stability. That's really freaking awesome. What do you, you're, you're, you're not trying to hold on to something anymore. This was the past. Look, look, four of pentacles holding on real tightly. Thinking about you don't want to lose everything that you have. And then it changes. And you're walking away from that mindset right now. That's beautiful. Knowing that you've got to let go of something. And in the future, because of this, you have the Nine of Pentacles. That is being the single woman that's very abundant that can take care of herself. Okay, that's the pre-empress card, which is, this is also Virgo. And then we have strength and judgment. That's to, to, that's being able to put your own judgment on things. Having good judgment. This is, this, okay, okay, okay. This new cycle that's coming in now, because you are letting go of stuff from the past that you thought was your foundation, Past hurts, past traumas, relationships, job maybe, house. It could be anything like that. 
but it's definitely brought in a huge new cycle for you. You can make your choices now. You're going you're going to be you're going to be, this is backwards. You're going to be in a position to where you can make your own choices. Okay? Now the strength card represents soft control. It also means going through lessons, having gone through lessons, okay? So right now you could be you could very well be going through lessons on how to be more abundant for yourself. Let's see what the strength card is. You know what? Let's see what the emperor. What, let's see the five of cups. What have you had enough of, Libra? Five of cups, please, for Libra. April 6th through the 20th. Five of cups for Libra. April 6th through the 20th. Sun, moon, and rising. Don't forget to check those. Mm, you got information about something. You got information about something. You went inside for your own stability. You got information understanding that your own stability comes from inside. Look. Look. Look what you did. Look what you're doing right now. Okay? You're going inside to, un well, you're going inside to understand that that's where your stability actually comes from. And because of that, you're abundant and stable. That's awesome. That's awesome, Libra. This is this is an incredibly awesome reading for you. I'm very happy. What's on the bottom of this deck? Look at that. Self-love. Ace of Cups. Yeah, I know. Oh, love's coming in. No, that's self-love. Self-love, baby. You know where it's at. Self-love. Have you, have you, were you not taking care of yourself, Libra? You weren't taking care of yourself. You, you, you're Libra. You should know better. You're supposed to pamper yourself. You know this. You're supposed to love yourself in a healthy manner by facing what's really going on, by getting the information, oops, by getting the information and going within. Oh, Virgo's on here twice. Huh. How about that? Okay. This is what energy, belief, um, self-belief, thought pattern, anything like that is holding you back. Let's see. What's, hold, what, what's hindering you the most right now? Ooh. We got two. Looks like you need to look into some alternative healing, huh? Oh, is that why I got a headache? Because it's gone now. It looks to me like you need to look into alternative healing for something that's going on right now. And that's really going to help. You're suffering from a wound. Uh, very well could very very well could be from a past life. If not a past life, you know what's funny is they say past life, and we're like, well, that happened in this life. Things that happen in this life are representations of things that have happened in the past, past lives. I suggest that you go to see alternative medicine for a health issue. Okay, now that does not mean to not continue to see your regular doctor, but I think that alternative help could greatly benefit you. All right, especially if it's something to do with the head because, oof, the pressure, the pain. All right, a little guidance for Libra from April 6th to the 12th. It's so beautiful outside today. April 6th to the 20th. I actually took a picture of a airplane in the sky because you don't see that anymore. Okay, Libra, April 6th through the 20th. You're the second sign to come up with this one. Kwan Yin's Pink Dragon. 
brings firm love that resets your karmic balance. See all your cords dissolved by transcendent love. Enjoy your freedom. Look for the divine around you. Beautiful. Love yourself. Okay. Mm. Quan Yin's pink dragon brings firm love that resets your karmic balance. If this was karma from the past, this health issue, is karma from the past coming back? Yeah. See, all your cords dissolved by transcendent love. Go seek alternative medicine, Libra. I'm telling you. I think it would really help. Now, don't do anything, you know, crazy, you know, like bloodletting or anything, God. All right. But you know what I mean. You'd be surprised what people come up with. Okay. Any other message? Why is that backwards? Any other guidance for Libra? Sun, moon, and rising, April 6th through the 20th. Libra, April 6th through the 20th. Guidance. Look, there you are. Justice. Six of winter. We're just, it's, this isn't your card, but it came out with yours. So positive changes are on their way. A welcome relief from troubled times, traveling or relocating. Also, seek medical, some medical assistance for this. Whatever this is, Libra. Okay? Some alternative medicine I think would do you wonderful. But make sure if it's herbs or anything like that, that it doesn't interact with any medications that the doctor's given you, okay? Release. Number 13, let go of the past. An ending that makes way for new opportunities. Time to move on. Look at that. Yeah. You've had enough. You've got all the information you need. Go within and find your stability. Okay? This was a really good reading, Libra. I'm very proud of you. You've done well. Right now, King, oh, look, King of Swords was on the bottom of the deck with the sun. You've had enough, Libra. You've had enough. It's time to move on. Self-love, rest and meditate so that you can start your new path. Okay? All right, Libra. I will talk to you guys soon. Peace to you. Bye.